The anthem, of course, honoring America, the citadel of democracy, and the greatest country on earth. So NSU and Barry about to be introduced. The first SSC Wednesday of the season. And isn't this fun? In fact, all SSC Wednesdays and SSC Saturdays, they're all fun as the competition stiffens. are back. The lineups have been introduced. Again, it will be Evan Walsh, David Moya in the backcourt for Barry, along with Tylen Burks, Marco Tomich, and Daniel Mortensen. And the Shark Watch tonight is on Evan Walsh. He is outstanding. He is a 6'4 junior from Tring, England, about an hour north of London. He is their top gun. He averages 11.8 points per game. So they are set. And this is Tylen Burtz inside the center circle. He'll be jumping center for the Barry Bucks. A pair of number fives going at it for the jump ball. Mark Matthews will jump center for the NSU Sharks. Both teams undefeated going into this first game of the conference schedule. And the ball belongs to Barry off the tip and underneath the rim, Marco Tomich lays it in on a pass by Elvin Walsh. Now NSU sets it up. Barry has defeated NSU four straight times. Right of the foul circle, it's Matthews. He gets it out of it to Nick Smith. Smith drives to the edge of the lane, kicks it out of it to Gibson. High arcing three of beauty. Gibson, a straightaway three. Now NSU applying its press, its incessant press. Dennis knocking the ball away and picking it up is Gibson ahead over to Dennis. Bangs with his man, the one hitter. Good, he counts it a foul. And it is awfully loud in here tonight at the Rick Hayes Arena as these two neighborhood foes go at it. The Barry Bucks, of course, situated in Dade County, and the NSU Sharks here in Brown, as the three-point play is completed by number three, 
David Dennis. So it is 6-2 Sharks. And Barry works it over the timeline. In a fourth court it is with Moya. Now inside. Losing the handle is Birch. He rescues and then has it peeled away again. And it carries over the baseline. So the Barry Bucks will hold on. Middle of the floor it is with David Moya. Six feet even from Plantation. Now to Birch. He drives it and scoops it up and in with a left hand. And it is 6-4. As Burtz scores, Tyland Burtz, 6'6", six, six from Florida City, and a long two from the left by Matthews, and the Sharks now lead it 8-4. And another steal. This one is Gibson's ball, but he can't handle it. It's taken away by Moya. His driving shot is missed, and the rebound, Matthews. Into four court it is with Matthews to the edge of the lane, into the lane. The running scoop topples off. He grabs his own rebound. He banks and misses his back tap. And it's grabbed by Tomich. Over midcourt it is with Moya. Head of the foul circle, Tomich around to the left. Over to Mortensen. Mortensen to Burtz. Now to the head of the circle, over to Tomich. He pulls into the lane. He spins. He's doubled up. Hangs on to it. Throws it out of there over to Mortensen. Now to Walsh. He drives in. Driving shot missed, but he was fouled. Fouled in the act of shooting by Nick Smith. And Evan Walsh will go to the strike. The 6'4 junior from England. Not many English players. Through the years, England is certainly no hotbed for basketball. In fact, when you travel through England, you'll see very few basketball courts. Free throw is missed. So the Englishman, Walsh, gets one more. Well, the scoring is rather evenly distributed for Butch Estes' Bucks of Barry. Walsh is the leading scorer at 11.8 points per game. He misses the next free throw. The rebound is taken by Smitty from Pittsburgh, PA. Gets it over to Gibson from the left wing to the right wing. Over to Dennis. Dennis into the lane. Lost it. Got it back. Puts it up. Missed it. Reaches for his own rebound. But they've got a call at the baseline. So that stops the clock. And the foul is committed by Burtz. Island Burtz committing the Barry foul. And here is Dennis at the stripe for the NSU Sharks. And he makes the first free throw, does David Dennis. As you know, 6-1 he is. A senior from Canal, Winchester, Ohio, near Columbus. Next free throw is good by the southpaw. And it's 9-4. NSU a long pass ahead over to Burtz. Burtz has Gibson to beat. He drives in and sticks it in. And it is 11-4. I think they've got that score wrong. We'll look again. On the right sideline it is with Huffine. He gives it over to Dennis. Straight away three of beauty. David Dennis nails a three-point shot. Now they've got the score as 14-6. I think that's accurate. And again, Dennis knocks the ball away. Gives over to Smitty. Missed that shot short. The rebound hits a couple of shoulders. Grabbed by Moya. Ahead over to Walsh. The scoop is missed. The rebound ripped down by Matthews. Smitty to the front court of the left side. Line over to Huffine. Pat had a good ball game against St. Augustine's the other night. Now he gets it out over to Smitty. Back at Huffine. Three if it goes. Hits the front rim. Comes back outside. Huffine gets a hand on it. Gives it inside over to Matthews. Who sticks it up at him? And the Sharks. A 10-point lead at 16-6. To the middle of the floor it is. With Burtz. Now on the left. The three ball is in and out. It was missed by Tomich. Three players hit the deck. And it's saved by Mortensen. Out to Walsh. His three pinballs out. And they've got a foul. Nice crowd has settled in here tonight for the first SSC game of the campaign. And there you see the three ball by the southpaw, David Dennis, the senior. It is 16-6 LSU. Sharks have not defeated the Barry Bucks since the 2015-16 season. But inbounding it here is Daniel Mortensen, who has torched the NSU Sharks through the years. He's from Denmark. And on the inbounds, 
It's caught by Moyer, and one of the officials blows play to a halt, which leads us to tell you that the officials for the game tonight are Chris Merlo, Adam James, and Aaron Chambliss, three familiar faces and three veterans of many of these SSC wars. Nice, cool, crisp night here in South Florida. If you're joining us from some other part of the country, we can tell you that tonight it will get down to the low 50s here in South Florida. Right now, four of the SSC teams beginning league competition undefeated outside the league. Rollins at 5-0, Barry and Lynn at 4-0 each. And the Nova Southeastern University Sharks at 3-0. So Mortensen, the Dane, inbounds it over to Tomich, gives it back to Mortensen. He glides in and scores from the right wing, does Daniel Mortensen. Now Barry has it down to a 15-8 NSU lead. Screen by Matthews for Dennis. Dennis to the edge of the lane, halts his drive, kicks it out over to Puisis, who's now in back over to Matthews to Dennis for three. Front rim it, the long rebound, chased down by a couple of players against Walsh, Moya, Burtz, Tomich, and Mortensen. NSU leading it 15-8. It's inbounded from the far sideline by Mortensen. He gets it in over to David Moya, the six-foot even junior from Plantation. On the right sideline of the Englishman, Walsh to the baseline of it to Tomich. Tomich bodying his way in, still has it. He turns and hits over Matthews. So out of the post-up game, and you'll see a lot more of that of Butch Estes' team. No great point guard. Straightaway three is missed by Puisis, and the rebound is taken by Burtz. His pass broken up. It's loose and rescued by Mortensen. On the right wing, Moya, high arcing three is way off, and the rebound of the lane over to Malk Matthews. Matthews over midcourt himself, into the lane, down the lane, running shot, he missed it, and they've got a foul. Matthews, not known for his ability to run, lumbering, rumbling down from one end of the floor to the other, but he was fouled of the act of shooting, and Matthews will shoot free throws. So Mark Matthews, 6'6", the junior, he had 17 of the win on Saturday over St. Augustine's, and he gets one more after hitting the first. Last year, the Barry Bucks finished at 23-9. Next free throw is missed, and the rebound taken by Burtz. Over midcourt, Walsh. Walsh has the ball against Puisis, hangs on to it, snaps it left over to Tomich. Now to Mortensen at the left baseline. He's got it against Zidic. Guns it across the lane and it's stolen away. In a forecourt come the NSU Sharks. With it, it's Dennis. Bounce pass to the baseline. It's picked up and thrown up and missed. It was missed by Zidic. And the rebound over to Barry. Mortensen gets it inside of the birds. He turns, he scores, he walked. It won't count. So Connor Zinich, number zero, is in. Now Dwayne Gibson is back on the floor for NSU. Sharks led by as many as nine. The Barry Bucks had the first two points of the game, and uh, that was it. They led by two at that point. NSU the ball, NSU the lead at 16-10. Gibson to the foul line. Gibson shoves it inside. It's caught inside by Matthews, who has it blocked neatly from behind. And out of bounds by the Dane Mortensen. So the ball will be... Triggered inbounds over to Gibson, but it's stolen away by Moya. Moy into the lane, has it knocked away by Zidic. And out of bounds, and both teams playing some heated, intense defense. A neighborhood battle between the Barry Bucks and the NSU Sharks in a good coaching matchup. Veteran coaches. 
Jim Crutchfield, his second year. Butch Estes, his sixth year. On the opening night of the SSC season. Walsh on the right sideline, head of the foul circle it is. Into the left corner, it goes over to Mortensen. Burtz has got it. This is Moyo wide open. He hits, he buried a three ball. Leandro Allende is now in. 6'6", a junior from Puerto Rico. 16-13 Sharks, the lead down to three. They led by as many as nine in a crowd. The driving shot is missed by David Dennis. The ball wobbles out. It will be Barry's ball. So the Barry Bucks right now going with Moya, Burtz, Mortensen, Walsh, and Tomic. A long pass ahead caught like a receiver by Burtz. He drives it and he scores. And look here, the lead is down to one. It is 16-15 NSU. Oasis over to Gibson to the baseline. It goes over to Matthews. Now Gibson's got it. Left side line over to Puisis. Puisis to the edge of the lane. Throws it across the lane over to Matthews who sticks it up and in. Puisis the assist. Matthews the field goal. NSU has a three-point lead at 18-15. Mortensen a long pass ahead over to Burtz. Burtz drifts into the right corner. Throws it over to Walsh. Now for the straightaway, good by Mortensen. And if he gets hot, look out. He has played very well against the NSU Sharks. Mortensen has through the years. And Zinich throws it across court. It's taken by Puisis. He misses the three. It's tapped out. Gibson a straightaway three. Not good. And the rebound again over to Burtz. Burtz takes all his shots near that rim. Mortensen right sideline. Now over to Burtz on the left sideline it goes over to David Moya. Moya back of the foul line. Now over to Burtz once more. Burtz has got it. Now to Allende inside. It's caught and laid up. And it was missed. Missed by Johannes Dolvin who's now in number 21. Even at 18 NSU with the ball. Zinich gets it out over to David Dennis. Now to Zinich. He shoots. He missed a three. It rims out and it comes out. Over to Burtz. Over midcourt. On the far sideline is Moya. And he had it poked away and out of bounds with 11.56 to go. And another timeout. It is either courtside. The game even at 18. 11.56 to go in the opening half. Great news, Sharks fans. NSU alumni can save even more on Geico car insurance with a special discount. Visit geico.com slash my discount for a free Quote today. Moya inbounds the ball. And they go to work. Tomich catching it. This is Moya with the ball. Throws it into the lane. It's grabbed by Dolvin. The one-hander is missed. The rebound is put up and missed. It was missed by Hobbs. It's batted around. It's grabbed by Hobbs. And he sticks it in. Does the 6-4 senior from West Palm. Isaiah Hobbs, and he gives the Bucks a 2018 lead, a three ball by Gibson from the left wing, and the Sharks are ahead 21 20. Now, the Bucks again working against the press. Dennis defending Isaiah Hobbs, and it's poked away, and they've got a foul. David Dennis, it is on the foul as we look at Gibson. Burying a three ball. Dwayne Gibson Jr. from Indianapolis, Indiana. And from a good family, a good man who'll do well in life. Baseline it is with Dolvin. He backs in. He turns. And they've got a call. It's against NSU. It's a foul. Lucas, Lucas Langard it is on the foul. The Swede. We can tell you that... Uh, there are a whole bunch of foreign players tonight in the ball game. For that matter, there are a total of 13 foreign players between the two rosters. A three ball from the left is missed, missed by Hobbs, and NSU the rebound. At a four court, it is with Dennis. Dennis, an indefatigable player. Head of the foul circle over to Gibson, into the left corner. Langren's got it. Against Dolvin, he's from a foreign country. He's from Norway. Into the lane it, it is with 
Zinich gives it over to Gibson. Banker got it. So Gibson hitting from the outside. Now taking it to the hole and banking it in. Dwayne Gibson gives the Sharks a 23-20 lead. And now NSU sets up its press. And a collision at midcourt and an offensive foul. Leandro Allende with that foul at the middle of the floor as he elbowed his way in. Well, we saw Gibson a moment ago hitting an outside shot, and there you saw him driving to the hole, angling in from the right wing. And Dwayne Gibson and the NSU Sharks have a three-point lead at 23-20. Dennis into the front court against Allende, has it. Gives it over to Gibson. He spins in on his man, gives it inside. It's caught and laid in by Matthews. Matthews with a field goal under the rim. Sharks by five. On the left sideline it is with Dolvin. He gives it over to Moya. Moya pulls up, 14-footer. Off the heel of the rim. The rebound, Dolvin blocked from behind by Zinich. He reaches for the ball. Hey, finally gripped it and a foul against NSU. Well, this year, the Barry Bucks team made up of a lot of bangers, a lot of bodies around that rim. Dolvin being one. And the other uh, we saw early on in this half in Tyland Burt's. I am not mistaken. Tyland Burt's brother, Michael, played for Lynn. First free throw is missed by Johannes Dolvin. He is 6'9", a junior, a transfer from Drake. Johannes Dolvin hails from Oslo, Norway. Meanwhile, Tomic sits down for the Barry Buccaneers. Right now, they'll go with Hobbs, Moya, Burks, Allende, and still some traffic at the scorer's table. And checking in is Keenan Guzinic. We've seen him through the years. He is from Bosnia, from Sarajevo. It's 25-21. NSU by four, midway through this opening half. Great rivalry, Barry and NSU. Straight away, shot is up in the air and missed by Pat Huffine. Battered around, grabbed by Matthew. Short back, around no. The rebound tipped in there. Might be Connor Zinich. Zinich it is, and I believe that's his first field goal in an NSU jersey. The young man from Hagerstown in Western Maryland. Barry with the ball. The Sharks with the lead, 27-21. Down the lane comes Guzinich. He missed badly at a wild shot. NSU the ball. Dennis pass tipped away. It deflects out. It should be off. Barry it is. And it is NSU ball. So now it's Guzinich, Allende, Burks, Moya, and Hobbs against Zinich, Dennis, Matthews, Gibson, and Huffon. And that's Pat Huffon to the left corner. Gets it over to Gibson. Right of the foul circle over to Zinich. Now on the right for a three ball, Dennis. It skims the rim. It's batted into the air and knocked out, and they've got a foul. This one's against the NSU Sharks. It's on Connor Zinich, who quickly picks up his second of the ball game. So it's nice to see Connor Zinich in, and it may take a half or two until he gets a feel for things and gets into the rhythm. Coaches will tell you that he plays big. And he's 6'6", which is uh, rather hefty for the SSC. And on the other side of the timeline, it is Keenan Kuzinich. Meanwhile, the Barry Bucks put in a new player as Moya from the floor to the bench. And checking in is Mylon Sheffield, 5'7". A sophomore from up the road in Jacksonville. Free throws up. Missed by Guzinich. He missed the first of the one and one as the Sharks have committed seven team fouls and the Barry Bucks under the limit with just four. Dennis weaves his way to the foul line. Kick it out of it to Gibson. Gibson winds his way in, running left hand or around it. Good, but it won't count. Floor foul against the Barry Bucks. Foul committed by Tylen Burtz. And the clock stopped with 8.49 to go. And NSU in front, 27-21. It's arched in bounds to Gibson. Gibson straight away. Bounds high in the air off the back rim and a rebounding foul under the rim. 
And Coach Crutchfield not too happy, not too pleased with that call. NSU has committed its eighth team foul. While the Bucks have committed five, which augurs well for them. Up on the balcony on the far side, there are people hanging over the railing. Free throw is up, and again, it's missed by Mortensen, the Dane, and it's rebounded by Smitty. Nick Smith from Pittsburgh. This is Dennis spinning. He missed the scoop. It's batted around and grabbed by Guzinich. And it's stolen by Gibson. He gives it over to Smitty. He missed on the runner, and they've got a foul against Barry. Guzinich, it is on the foul, and Smitty will go to the strike for the NSU Sharks. Nick Smith. At 15 points against the Barry Bucks when the teams played here a year ago. Free throws in and out by Smitty. The effervescent Nick Smith labored from the floor against the St. Augustine's team on Saturday, making just two of eight shots, and Smitty hits the next free throw, and it is. NSU 28 and the Barry Buccaneers 21. Meanwhile, Allende working... His way down the left side line into the front court and play blown to a halt. An issue, I'm sure, to do with the clock. Whatever it is, it's sorted out by the three officials, Merlot, James, and Chambliss. And it will be inbounded. And it is by the Barry Bucks, by Isaiah Hobbs. In a forecourt, the diminutive guard, Sheffield, and a steal by Dennis. Races all the way, layup is good. Sheffield, the sophomore at 5'7", had it taken away by the 6'1", senior, David Dennis. Sheffield over midcourt. Sheffield lost the ball again, reaches down, picks it up, and they've got a foul against Dennis. Crowd here seeing it with their hearts. And they saw an over and back on Sheffield. Crowd really adding some vocal support tonight at the magnificent Rick Case Arena on the NSU campus. And you see the initial contact between Sheffield and Dennis in the steal. Meanwhile, timeout is taken. This is the eight-minute timeout. And NSU leading. Well, they've led by as many as two. The Sharks have led by as many as nine. Dennis has got ten points and one rebound of the ball game. Matthews, as you can see, nine points and eight rebounds. And Barry being led by Burks with six points and six rebounds. At the stripe, it's Sheffield, and the first free throw is missed. It's tipped out. Guzinich gets his hand in it. He grips it. Throws it around to the right over the Allende. He missed the three, and Gibson is there to clutch the rebound. Hit a four-court Dennis. Dennis over to Gibson. Now back out of it to Dennis, who gesticulates for his teammates. He backs it out on Guzinich. Head of the foul circle over to Smitty. Wild scoop is way off. Matthews reaching for it. Matthews has got it. He missed the one-hander. It comes out of it to Dennis. Running back to Dandy. David Dennis gives the Sharks an 11-point lead, their largest of the ballgame. Sharks on a 14-1 run to open up this 32-21 lead. At the baseline, it is with Hobbs. Gets it out of it to Guzinich. Guzinich spins into the lane, keeps going. Driving shot, well done. A spinning shot by Guzinich, who torqued it up and in. The long pass ahead, caught by Matthews. Layup is good. Mark Matthews showing he's got some good alertness. On the inbounds, it's knocked out of bounds, and it will remain Bucks ball, 34-23. Evan Walsh checks into the ball game. So Walsh is back in. He started. He's missed the two shots he's taken so far tonight. Ball inbounded in backcourt by the stocky Guzinich. He gets it over to Mortensen. Now to Moya. To the baseline to Allende, the running back way off. He reaches, grabs his own rebound, sticks it up. He missed the shot, but he drew the foul, or is it a jump ball? It is. It is a jump ball. And on alternate possession, NSU gets it because Barry won 
the opening tip. So NSU sets it up at the baseline. It is with Mark Matthews, who's been a handful. Gets it over to Huffine. Huffine squeezes through a double team. Lost the handle, but it's deflected out by the Barry Bucks. Dennis with a dozen. Matthews with 11. No double-digit scorer yet for Butch Estes. Barry Bucks. Gibson throws it to the right side. Light over to Smith. 15-footer in the air. The Buckets. Smitty makes pretty, and the Sharks have their largest lead of the night. It is NSU 36 and Barry 23. On the left sideline, it is with Moya to the baseline. Over to Mortensen, posting up. He turns, throws into the right corner. It's caught by Walsh. He hits. Three ball by Evan Walsh. And look out. The 6'4 junior from England. A good defender and a slasher. He occasionally hit that outside shot. It's down to a 10-point. NSU lead. Huffine into the lane, down the lane. Oh, he missed a gimme. Grabs his own rebound. Missed a second gimme. And it's rebounded by Guzinic. A long pass over to Walsh. He fires and scores on a long pass by Moya. And just like that, the Barry Buck strike that scored six in a row. And it's 36-29. A driving shot the other way is missed. And another foul. Foul is on Allende, and that stops the clock with five minutes and 33 seconds to go. And Dennis will go to the stripe for NSU. Further substitutions are made by the Barry Bucks. And we'll set the floor for you. Moya, Walsh, Mortensen, Burtz, and Tomich. The lefty's first free throw is perfect. As David Dennis hits from the line to our left. David Dennis will get one more. David Dennis, a 75% free thrower. He hits a pair now. And it is 38-29. NSU by nine with 5.30 to go. Walsh over midcourt waits for traffic to clear. Sets it up. Throws it left over to Tomich. Into the left corner over to Moya. He pulls up. Hooks it across the lane over to Walsh. Overheads it left over to Moya. Fakes the shot. Pulls up and shoots. It rims out. The rebound tipped in neatly by Hobbs. Hobbs right there for a soft tip in with the left hand. And it is 38-31. And issued by seven with five minutes even to go in a long three. Is missed by Matthews. That might have been out of his range. And the rebound taken by Barry by Walsh. Driving shot. Moya got it. Now the lead is back down to five on a Moya soft driving shot in the lay. 38-33. Dennis over to Gibson. Around to the left over to Smith. Smitty backs it out on the big guy, Mortensen. Now Dennis has it again. Baseline left. This is in it. Around his man. Sticks it up good, but it won't count. This might be a foul on Zinich for throwing an elbow. If it is on Zinich, that would be his third. Nothing posted quite yet. Meanwhile, the ball will be inbounded by Barry. And the foul is indeed, or is it just a turnover? We'll wait to see. I'm not sure there was a foul there. There's some confusion whether he might have stepped out. That's perhaps what happened, and that's good news for NSU. Turnover, of course, is not good news, but the fact that Zinich would pick up his third would have been a problem. So he remains with two fouls. Now they correct that it is a foul. Thought it was. Underneath the shot is missed, but put up and in on a follow-through by Hobbs. And they get their points around that rim. The Barry Bucks do, 38-35. The lead is three straight away. Gibson, a high arcing three. You could see it would be long, and it was. And the rebound taken by Barry by Walsh. Walsh drives, gives inside of it to Hobbs. He lays it up and in, and he was fouled. Fouled in the act of shooting by Gibson, and that lead has been paired down to one after the Sharks had a 13-point advantage. 3.49 to go. In the first half, it's now NSU 38. And Barry 37 will break for this on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. 
It's a foul, man. Nah, man, that was all ball. All right, everybody, let's go home. Basketball's no-brainer. Referees. Barbasol's no-brainer. Finally making razors. From court to court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub. With exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports. Well, as the night begins, there are three teams in the SSC in the nation's top 25 D2. The Barry Bucks ranked 12th in America. And these NSU Sharks rank 17th. Florida Southern with a loss now down to number 21. But the SSC, one of the leading D2 conferences in America, represented by three teams in basketball's top 25. So this is not only a matchup of two neighborhood foes, but two teams in the top 17 in America, D2. Three throws up and good by Hobbs, who's played well off the bench. He has eight points. The points for Barry evenly distributed. On the left wing, the pass by Gibson over to Huffline is knocked out of bounds by an aggressive Evan Walsh. Walsh averaging just a shade under 12 a game. Moya, the top assist man at 4.8 assists per game for Barry. Huffine left of the circle. Barry looking zone now. Head of the foul circle. Huffine hangs on to it. Smith. Now in the corner, it's Gibson. Gibson shoots. Missed it short. The rebound tipped into the air by Matthews. It's volleyed and volleyed by Huffine. Over to Moya. Moya over midcourt. Throws it left over to Walsh. Who backs it out on Dennis. And the pass left is off the mark. And out of bounds, it's a turnover against NSU. Barry has committed seven turnovers. And NSU has committed just two. Barry has made four of its last five shots. Dennis throws it to the right corner. Gibson has it straight away. Smith is open. Missed the shot. The rebound, Mortensen. The big Dane. The great Dane. And he himself over midcourt. Mortensen to the right sideline, gives it over to Walsh, an Englishman. Two players from Europe exchanging the ball. On the left sideline, this is Hobbs, Isaiah Hobbs, to the edge of the leg. To Tomich, to Walsh on the right sideline of an Amoya. Into the right corner, Mortensen, look out. He shoots, he missed, he can hit that shot. He missed it wide off the front rim over to Dennis, accelerates into the lane. Wild shot, no, the rebound, Matthews, he bangs it off the rim. It comes out of it to Smith. His shot is in and out. Gibson reaches for the rebound, and it went out of bounds off NSU. The shots earlier were dropping for NSU. Right now, NSU shooting a pretty cold 33%. Pass ahead over to Moya. Gives it baseline to Hobbs. He missed it coming through. And the rebound, Dennis. The action is end-to-end -end here. Barry and NSU. Gibson head of the foul circle to the left corner. Smitty. Smitty wouldn't take it in on Tomich. Gives it over to Dennis. Foul line over to Matthews. Back out of it to Dennis. He shoots on the rim and off to the left. The rebound. It is Hobbs with it. His pass broken up and knocked over the near sideline by Pittsburgh's own Nick Smith. Meanwhile, checking into the ball game for the NSU Sharks is Mikel Kolstad, and you have to figure that his minutes will go down with Connor Zinich now available. Kolstad's from Bergen, Norway, as you know, a 6'4 junior, and he is a transfer from Augusta State, once coached by former NSU coach Gary Toole. Tenacious defense. On both ends tonight. Right now, Barry going with Walsh, Moya, Mortensen, Burtz. As NSU comes over midcourt. Matthews with the ball. Matthews to the edge of the lane. He spins the one hitter around, around, around it out. But a foul against Barry.
Daniel Mortensen, the foul that is even at 38 after NSU led by as many as 13. Right now it's Walsh, Moya, Tomich, Mortensen, and Burtz as the free throw breaks the tie and one more upcoming here for Matthews. Matthews attended three schools before registering here at NSU. He played at just two, but last year he was at Florida Gulf Coast where he did not play. Next free throw by Matthews gives the Sharks a two-point lead at 40-38. Racing over the timeline as Walsh keeps going. Driving shot good, but it won't count. Floor foul, says the official. The official Chris Merlo. Sharks will be on the road for the next couple of games. NSU heads up to Embry-Riddle on Saturday. They will then have a week off before getting on that bus and riding those Florida highways up to St. Leo a week from Saturday. Free throws up and good by Evan Walsh from Tring in England, about an hour north of London. Next one's up and good. Now it's even at 40. Largest gaps either way. NSU led by as many as 13. And the Barry Bucks led by as many as two. Now NSU the ball even at 40 with one minute and 13 seconds remaining in the half. And Barry falling back in his zone. And Huffon with that trim beard has the ball. Gives it over to Dennis who calls out a play. D.D. throws it into the right corner over to Gibson. He penetrates on Hobbs, throws it out to an open. Huffine in and out and tumbles off. The rebound picked up by Matthews. He was fouled on the way up. Missed the shot, but it'll go to the stripe. He was fouled in the act of shooting. So for NSU, a tough night from the floor. 14 of 44, 31%. Barry, hardly stellar, 16 to 37, 43%. NSU taking 17 threes and making a feeble just three, and they have missed the Sharks as far as field goals overall, their last 10 shots. So they have hit a dead spot. Meanwhile, Mortensen. Is in and sitting down is Johannes Dolvin. Next free throw is in and out and back in for Matthews. The Sharks have a 41-40 lead as Mortensen gets it in over to Moya. Running pass left over to Walsh. Head of the foul circle, Mortensen. And once again, over to the kid from Plantation, David Moya. Moore is now in the ball game. The freshman... From the university school at the baseline, Mortensen backs in on the shorter. Huffine drives around him easily and scoops it in. And Huffine stood there like the house by the side of the road and watched him go by. 43-40, the Bucks by three, their largest lead with 21 seconds to go. And head coach Jim Crutchfield will use his use it or lose it 22nd timeout the 19th against Bluefield State. And the Sharks will ring out 2018 here at home against Florida Southern. And that will be on the 29th. NSU with the ball looking to come from behind now. They're down by one. They led by as many as 13. Colstad gives it out. Over to Dennis, back over to Colstad, lost the handle, reaches down, picks it up, three seconds to go. This is Gibson for three, not good, the rebound tipped up, it's in and out by Matthews, and that does it for the first half. A spirited end to the first half of the back. And of concern here tonight, the Barry Bucks and the NSC Sharks. Jim Crutchfield coaches NSU in his second year and Butch Estes in his sixth year. Butch attended the University of North Carolina. All right, Barry with the ball. They'll work into the road black from right to left toward its bench. Mortensen throws it out of it to Walsh to the left corner of the Tomich three. Got it. So it opens up promisingly for the Barry Bucks. A three ball making it 45-41 Bucks. 
Sharks have gone ice cold with their shooting. A driving shot is missed by David Dennis. The rebound, Huff on. He uncorks under the rim. Shot is blocked by Mortensen, but they've got a foul. And it's on Mortensen. On Mortensen, that is his second of the game. Start of the second half, NSU and Barry. So right now the Bucks a four-point lead, and that represents their largest lead of the night. Early, NSU led by as many as 13. Coach Crutchfield talking with one of the officials on the far side. Jim Crutchfield, a celebrated and stellar coach as Huffman hits the foul shot. Crutchfield's dad was in the natural gas business up in West Virginia. Next free throw is good. And Butch Estes, if you're wondering, he was telling us prior to the game, he's from High Point, the furniture capital of the United States, and his dad and his granddad all in the furniture business. 45, 43 bucks. Middle of the floor, it's Moya. He wears number three. Now to Tomich, his pass thrown away over to Dennis. His one minute lead. He drives all the way, lay it up, around, around, and good. Easy layup, and it tumbled in. And NSU has tied it at 45. Full court pressure. The ball poked away by the paw of Huffine and over the end line to our right. At the start of the second half, the Sharks in the second minute. And the Bucks tied at 45, going with Huffine, Smith, Matthews, Dennis, and Gibson, and a 10-second violation by the Barry Bucks. Barry tonight, if you're wondering, has committed to my count 12 turnovers. We'll have to look at that again. Showing 10, and NSU has committed just two. And a shot from the side is good. The other way, with his hand on the ball at the end line, is Burtz, and it went out of bounds. It went out of bounds by NSU. Barry with the ball on the... Left baseline, it's Mortensen straight out for a three ball. That's a beauty by Walsh, and the Englishman gives the Bucks a 48-47 lead. Earlier, Dennis, that layup. It's a one-point game. Left sideline, it's Huffine, head of the foul circle over to Smith. A three ball in the air. Front rim and backboard of the rebound taken by Moya. Snaps it over the timeline over to Walsh. Walsh bangs down his defender. He hits. Let's see if it counts. This should be an offensive. It is. Offensive foul against the Bucks, and the clock stopped with 17.58 to go. Evan Walsh it is on the offensive. He's the only Barry Buck in double figures in scoring. He has 11 right now. Dennis with 18. Matthews with 14. And those two carrying the scoring load, and load perhaps a misnomer, as the Sharks continue to struggle with their shooting at 32% from the floor. On the right sideline, it's Smitty. He gets it over to Dennis to the left wing, over to Pat Huffine from Indianapolis to Dennis. And now to Huffine, guns it inside of it to Smith into the left corner. A Gibson three, hits the rim and tumbles in there. Dwayne Gibson Jr., 50-48. In the right corner, driving now the baseline is Burtz, and he scores. Island Burtz, the brother of Michael Burtz, who played at Lynn several years ago. Left corner it is with Huffine. He gets it out of it to Smitty. Eve it at 50 on the right wing, Gibson. Gibson backs it out of the right side line over to David Dennis. Dennis into the right corner. Gibson to three. Got it. He hit from the left corner now from the right corner. 53-50. Sharks by three on the three ball by Gibson. Now they set it up. The Barry Bucks do. They swing it to the left wing. To Moya. Now inside, it's caught and laid in by Tomich on the pass by Burtz. Tomich makes it 53 52. The ball poked out of the hands of Gibson. Loose 
Taken by Smith to Dennis into the right corner. A fine three if it goes. Hits the rim, bounds away. He has really struggled from the floor. The rebound taken by Burtz. Takes it end to end. He gives over to Tomic. He scores and he was fouled in the act of shooting. And the big men getting in the act. And not only are they serving his bodies around that rim, but they're also moving the ball from one end of the floor to another. As uh, we see that three ball by Gibson. So Tomic at the stripe for one free throw. The 6'7 senior from Belgrade in Serbia. Belgrade, a big city, has a population of one and a half million. It's 55-53. Bucks by two, NSU with the ball. Matthews spins in on Mortensen, bangs with him, bangs with him again. The hook is way off, and the rebound underneath is taken by Isaiah Hobbs, who's now in. Hobbs to the front court of the right sideline, gets it over to Moy, ahead of the key over to Mortensen to the left sideline, over to Walsh against Huffine. Overheads it to Moy, a screen by Mortensen. He dribble drives to the base, throws it left over to Hobbs, straightens up and shoots a three, a dandy, and look out. Now the Bucks have their largest lead of this game. It is 58-53. On the right sideline, it is with Huffine. To the baseline over to Matthews. He backs in on Mort. Kicks it out to Huffine. Straight away over to Gibson. Gibson's got it against Tomich. He spins, spins again. Wild scoop, no. The rebound, Matthews. He backs, missed an easy one. Mortensen the rebound, and he's fouled. A rebounding foul against LSU. 58-53, the Barry Bucks, who trailed by 13 in the opening half, now have a five. And Barry, Florida Southern, and NSU all ranked in the top 25, D2. Barry ranked 12th, NSU 17, and the mocks of Florida Southern at 21. It is Barry Ball in the right corner, Walsh. Head of the foul circle it goes. Over to Sheffield, who's in. He played in the opening half. A little guy. Sheffield at 5-7. They get it inside. It's caught and laid in by Tomich. It is 60-53. Bucks, they're now up by 7 after being down by 13. Driving shot is missed by Dennis as he took it in on Walsh. And they've got the foul. And the foul's on Mortensen. As far as foul trouble is concerned, Zinich, Dennis, and Gibson all with three personal fouls, and uh, just Mortensen with three as far as Barry is concerned, as Dennis hits the foul shot. A long way to go. It appears that the Sharks have lost some steam offensively. Next free throw by Dennis is missed, and the rebound gobbled down. By the Barry Bucks, it was taken by Hobbs. And Hobbs calmly over the midcourt line. Switching hands on that dribble. He drives it, accelerates to the edge of the lane to the baseline. Kick it out of the Tomich. He pulls into the lane, keeps going. He hits, but it won't count. Offensive foul against Barry. It is an offensive foul on Tomich. Tomich has 14 in the game. Leading the Barry Bucks, 12 for Hobbs at 11 for Evan Walsh. He spells Walsh with an E at the end of it. W-A-L-S-H-E, he's from England. On the left sideline, Gibson. Gibson backs it out. Now to the middle of the floor over to Matthew. Snaps it left over to Gibson as three hits the rim and bounds away. But they've got a foul at the baseline. As the official Adam James blows this one. The scoreboard tonight's being a little stubborn, not uh, posting those fouls, but we know it is against the Barry Bucks and that they're under the limit. Connor Zinich is back and he takes the inbounds pass. Now it is Gibson launching a three. This one is long, it's batted around. Carries into the corner, heads out of bounds. One official looking at another. It will stick with NSU. This Barry foul was on Hobbs. On Hobbs, that was his second. 
It's inbounded. Dennis has the ball. Dennis in the lane. Dennis in a crowd and a bevy of players. He missed it and another foul against Barry. So the black clad Barry Bucks on the floor against the NSU Sharks. Dennis will go to the stripe for NSU, and the Sharks trailing in this game as the free throw is missed by Dennis. David Dennis will get one more. Meanwhile, Hobbs sits down and back into the ball game. He played in the first half is Leandro Allende. He's from Caguas or Caguas. I'm not sure how it's pronounced in Puerto Rico. 6'6 and a junior. Baseline right it is with Walsh. Here's a three by Tomic. He ate it out. Rebounded by Matthews. 60-54, NSU down six. Gibson plows into the lane. He keeps going. He scoops and misses, and they've got a foul. Barry Crowd wanted an offensive. In fact, Butch Estes, his arms folded across his chest. He wanted an offensive, but the foul is a defensive foul against the Barry Bucks. Meanwhile, Sheffield from the floor to the bench and checking back in is Moya. The Barry foul was on Sheffield. Here's Gibson at the foul line. For NSU looking for point number 15, and he gets it. So Dennis with 19, leading everyone in the house. But the big number is on the scoreboard. And the NSU Sharks trailing the Barry Bucks, 60-55. Dwayne steadies and hits the free throw. 60-56, NSU down by four here at home. Full court pressure, they get it in over to Moya, who threw it away over to Zinich. He drives it, he scoops it up and in. Zinich, the field goal. That's his second field goal in an NSU jersey, and they work it over the timeline, the Barry Bucks do, and they've got a foul. It's against Puisis. There you see the steal by Zinich, playing his first game, making his debut with the NSU Sharks after missing the first three games of the season and getting that field goal. It's inbounded into the right corner for a Moya three, got it wide open. 63-58, that three ball gives the Barry Bucks the visitors here tonight at NSU. A five-point lead. Head of the circle. Gibson into the lane. Down the lane. The scoop's on the front of the ribbon off, and it's rebounded by Barry. Rebounded by Moya, the kid from Florida. Allende from Puerto Rico. Keeps driving. He hits, but it won't count. Foul prior to the shot. Barry Buck shooting 53%, and the NSU Sharks a feeble 32%. It's in batted by Allende into the left corner. It goes to Walsh, the Englishman. A skip pass right to Allende. He shoots. Got it. And they are now hitting their threes. The Bucks are 9 of 16 from three-point range. And Barry has a 66-58 lead underneath the rim. Laying it up and in is Matthews. And NSU cuts the lead to six and a steal by Dennis. DD to the foul line. DD in the lane. Spins. Kick it out. Gibson three. If it goes, hits the front rim. And a rebounding foul. NSU can't buy one. Smitty one of six. Puisis nothing of two. Pat Huffine nothing of six. And if Matthews, Gibson, and Dennis would have stayed home tonight, the Sharks would be in deep trouble. Dennis six of 13. Has 19. Matthew six of 16. Has 16 points. Allende will inbound from the right baseline. In backcourt. He gets it in over to Moya. They hound him. But he gets rid of it over to Allende. Over the timeline of Walsh to the baseline of it. Atomich, he bangs with his man Colstad. He turns, throws it in the right corner. Picked off by Huffon. NSU with the ball down six. Matthews into the lane. Matthews down the lane. Running back, no, but a blocking foul against the Barry Buccaneers. Foul on Walsh. 
On Evan Walsh, that is his second foul of the game. Same two teams will play later this season at Barry on the 30th of January down in the dungeon in Dade County. Meanwhile, Matthews to the stripe for NSU. Matthews tonight, 6 of 16 as he looks for point number 17 at the stripe. And you can see him pantomime those free throws. And the first is in and out. The player that comes to mind who did that consistently, former St. John's guard, former Knicks guard, former NBA player, Mark Jackson. Next free throw is up and good. And so it is, 66 61, and the long pass ahead is caught and laid in. Brits scoring under the rim on the breakout. 68 61, they strike in a hurry, the Bucks do. Up fine, throws left to Puisis, a long three. Good! Eddie Puisis scores. That's his first field goal, one of three from the field. He buries a long three. Walsh to the foul line, pulls up. At the baseline, over to Burtz. Burtz backs his way to the lane. He up fakes and backs it in. He had the mismatch and backed it in. The lead is back to six, and they won't miss. They won't miss. The Barry Bucks won't. Long three. This one by Colstan is missed and a rebounding foul. He took a long range shot. And this foul coming at the 11.32 mark. And time taken here, it's 70-64, Bucks by six. This is NSU basketball on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. 70, NSU 64. Both teams coming in undefeated. Barry with the ball as play is resumed. They work it out of backcourt from right to left. The Bucks do toward their bench. Moya over the timeline. Moya to the foul line. Works in on Puisis and hits. Puisis did not defend him well. And Barry won't miss. It is 72-64. On the left sideline, it's Dennis. Get it out of it to Puisis straight away to Gibson around to the right. Colstead's got it. Now Matthews facing up on Dovin. Can't get in. Bounces it left. To Dennis, blind pass into the corner. Colstead, he hits. Three ball from the left corner by Colstead. Mikel Colstead, 6'4", a junior from Bergen, Norway. The second biggest city in Norway behind Oslo. Head of the circle, it's Mortensen to the right side line. It's Moon. Moy has got it. Now... On the left, it goes over to Hoff. Throw it out right for three ball. That's an air ball by Moya. Saving it, though, is Kolstad, and he stepped out. He should have just let it sail over the baseline. Middle mistake. Last year, Barry throttled NSU in both meetings. They won here 100 to 73, and they won at Barry 105-83. They get it in over to Hobbs, sticks it up underneath, and misses. Tip by Matthews over to Dennis. Dennis trots over the midcourt line of the foul line, pulls up, throws right over to Gibson, launches a three, got it. Dwayne Gibson is now six of 15. He's got 19 in the game, and Edis Huda within two at 72-70. On the right sideline, Allende's got it. Back of the circle over to Mortensen, around to the left. Over to Moya, to the left corner, over to Hobbs. Hobbs against Kolstad, aborts his drive. Comes back outside, and a reach-in foul against Gibson. Gibson walking away angrily. That's a smart thing to do. You don't want to say anything to the official that uh, might irritate him a bit. Nothing inflammatory. Gibson, a smart young man, walks away. He was angry. So at the stripe, it will be Hobbs. And is that the fifth? We'll see. I believe it is. How about that? He has fouled out. Dwayne Gibson fouls out. And that does it in for him for the night. 
So now the Sharks will have to find some scoring punch somewhere with 9.47 to go. And down by two and struggling already from the floor. And Gibson was uh, providing some offense tonight as he fouls out with 19 points. NSU with the ball off the missed free throw. Both teams over the foul limit. Matthews into the lane, keeps driving. He missed the shot. Mortensen is there for the rebound. The great Dane over midcourt himself. Into the left corner, the jumper, Allende, a three. Is on the left side of the rim and off to the right over the two, Colstad. Dennis into the lane. Dennis keeps driving. He missed the shot, but he drew the foul. Allende commits that foul. And here is David Dennis at the stripe. Six of 13 from the floor. And the free throw is good by David Dennis. So Dennis has got 20 in this game, leading everybody. David Dennis, the 6'1 senior from Canal Winchester. Last year against the Barry Bucks, David Dennis had games of 20 and 15. The next free throw, pinballs down, and NSU has tied things at 72. Barry led by as many as eight after they trailed in the first half by 13. It's now even at 72. Middle of the floor, Moya. Crowd into it tonight here in Davy at the Rick Hayes Arena on the NSU campus. Mortensen over to Moya. The chant of defense. Left baseline it is with Burks. Now Mortensen's got it with four to shoot. Launches a three. Oh, he buried a turnaround straightaway three. And he made it look seamless. He made it look effortless. 75-72. He has been an NSU nemesis. Mortensen has for years. In the lane, it is Matthews scoring. Soft shot under the rim by Mark Matthews. This is a block by Dennis. He blocked, blocked Burtz. Taken away, though, by Hobbs. Bangs down his defender. Offensive foul on Hobbs. And the crowd continues to make a racket tonight here at NSU. So this is now foul number four on Hobbs. He remains in the game for the moment. Five on the floor are all in double figures for Barry. Hobbs with and Burtz with 12 apiece. 11 for Walsh and 10 apiece for Moya and Mortensen. Dennis walks it casually over the midcourt line. Comes to the head of the foul circle and gets it over to Pat Huffline. On the right over to Dennis. Sharks down one. Three ball. Huffline too strong. Mortensen feels the rebound. In backward over to Moya. Long pass ahead over to Walsh in front of the Barry bench. On the far side, his pass stolen away by Colstead. Falling out of bounds, he got it over to Dennis. Straight down the middle of the head of the key. Backs it out, Sharks down one. Dennis into the lane, into the left corner to Colstead against Burks. Not a Puisis taking it to the hole, lay it up. He missed an easy one, but they have a foul. Clock stopped, 7.31 to go. Sharks down to three overtimes before NSU emerged with a win. Then on the 19th, Bluefield State comes in. And the Sharks will end the 2018 portion of the schedule with another league game against Florida Southern. All right, play resumed here. Walsh, three of five from the floor. Looks for point number 12 at the stripe. And he does it easily imperturbably. Final score, Embry-Riddle 84 and the Rollins Tar 69. That's a nice win for the Eagles of Embry-Riddle. Next free throws around and out. The rebound is underhanded by Colstead who's given this team, this NSU team, a lift off the bench. Dennis with the ball. Stutter steps into the lane. Running left-handed. Good! It counts and a foul. Dave 
David Dennis stutter stepping, hop stepping into the lane, looking one way, shooting the other, and scooping it in with a left hand, and he'll go to the stripe for the three point play. David Dennis at the stripe. And the three-point play is good. And look here, the Sharks have the lead on a conventional three-point play by David Dennis. It is 77-76. 7-12 to go and a dandy tonight. Mortensen a three ball, and he's got it. And the Sharks continue to give up that three-point shot. They're 10 of 19. Three ball the other way is good. Eddie Puisis from Mason, Ohio. And the Sharks by one. Back in fourth they go. A riveting game. Another three. Mortensen got another. This guy is something particularly against the Sharks. Now it's a two-point lead for the visitors. Puisis a three. In and out. The rebound battered around and grabbed by Walsh. He comes over midcourt to the right sideline. Head of the key it is, Tomich has got it, over to Mortensen, on the right wing now, over to David Moyer, the local kid from Plantation. Bucks with the ball and a two-point lead, 6.17 to go. Here's Mortensen firing another three, this is an air ball, batted at the end line and saved by Barry, they got it in to Walsh, to Mortensen, and around to the left, over to Moyer. Three ball up in the air, in and out, it was missed by Moya, but again it's tapped out by Tomich. Barry keeps it alive, and they've got a call against the Bucks. A shot clock violation is what they're gonna say, that the ball never hit the rim. Now David Dennis made a mental mistake on one of those occasions while Barry had the ball. He knew that the player, I believe it was Mortensen, threw up an air ball. And he should have just let it go out of bounds, is what he thought. But meanwhile, the Barry Bucks alertly, knowing they were under their own rim, just batted it back blindly while Dennis had his back to that player. And they saved the ball, and Barry got two more shots. Oh, those offensive rebounds. I'll check with the official score. Right now it's showing 5.54 on the clock, but they'll give the ball back to Barry, so they might have reversed things. The officials have. Barry with a ball and a two-point lead. Burtz has got it. Walsh on the right wing to the foul line. Backs it out. He comes to the right side line in front of the Barry bench. He has it against Puises and bangs it out over the far side line. 24 for the man who never sits. David Dennis, the indefatigable guard. 7 of 14 and 9 of 12 from the strike. Barry the ball, driving into the lane, down the lane, Moya, he missed the shot, and they've got a foul, and this one is against NSU. And a heated discussion on the far side between Coach Butch Estes and one of the officials. Barry's got the ball, I'm not sure that was a foul, weaving his way down the lane, driving and hitting is Moya, and a foul against NSU. And the Sharks have been somewhat porous on the defensive end. And I believe that foul was on Pat Huffon. It was. So the Sharks are down four, and the free throw is missed, and they've got a rebounding foul on the missed free throw against the Barry Bucks. Fouls on Burtz. They walk it to the other side of the timeline. The Bucks are in the double penalty as Burtz is tagged with his fourth foul. Now, apparently this is a technical foul. A technical foul. And Huffine hits the first of the tee. Don't know what that was all about, whether he mouthed off. He was along the side of the lane was Burtz, the next one's up and good. And Pat Huffline on a pair of free throws, or technical free throws, after we think it was Burtz 
on the technical. Now, a technical, of course, is also a personal. So four personal fouls on Burtz, and uh, he'll have to sit. And Tomich will replace him. Barry now falling back at his zone. Sharks are down by two. They're in possession. 5.23 to go. Huffine gets it over to Matthews, who's been quiet. Now Huffine has the ball again, throws it out of the Puisis. A long three. Got it. How about Eddie Puisis? It is 85-84. NSU now up one. 5.03 to go. Mortensen on the right sideline. To the baseline of it to Tomich. Tomich stopped by Puisis, stripped by Puisis, and the ball goes out of bounds as Puisis peeled it away from the big guy, Tomich. So Tomich from Belgrade in Serbia, 6'7", a big fellow. Pretty good around that rim. It's inbounded in the lane, and it's caught by Tomich. Gets it out over to Dover, who's now in. And to the left side, line of the Moya, and a reach and foul. This might be on Puisis. Puisis now with two fouls. And Moya will go to the stripe for the Barry Bucks. Moya averaging 8.3 points per game, and he is, if my stat sheet is right, taking just his second free throw ever. At least this season, I should say. He had not taken a free throw all year until tonight. And this is now his second, and he makes it. So he's two of two from the stripe this season. And it's even at 85, and Moya can break the tie for the Barry Bucks. Moya, the six-foot-even junior from Plantation, does just that. It is 86, 85 bucks. And the crowd enraptured, enthralled as they watch this one here at NSU. Straight down the middle comes David Dennis. Pegs it right over to Puisis. Against the zone, around to the left, Dennis has the ball. Dennis bounces it at the foul line of the Matthews. To the left corner it goes to Huffine. Huffine across the lane on the skip pass over to Puisis. To the edge of the lane, into the lane, shot blocked. It was blocked by Mortensen, batted at the end line, back over to Mortensen by Moya. Moya's got the ball. Moya into the lane, driving shot, got it. Off the turnover. And now the Bucks are up three, 88-85. Huffine middle of the floor with 4.07 to go. And NSU down by three. On the right wing it is. With Zinich out to Dennis for three. Oh! David Dennis with an effortless, feathery three-point shot. Even at 88. Mortensen gets it over the timeline on the left side. Line over to David Moya. Moya against Huffine. He gives him room. Moya throws behind him to Mortensen to the baseline. But a Tomich against Matthews. He sticks it up. Stopped by Matthews. Matthews the rebound. Hands it in backward over to Dennis. DD over the timeline, even at 88. Zinich all the way. Plows into his man. And what is the call? This might be an offensive. It is. And Connor Zinich has been trying to find his rhythm. Here's that standstill three by Dennis. D2 basketball at its best. And tonight, a pair of top 25 teams going at it. And great local foes, the Barry Bucks and the NSU Sharks. It's in batted in backcourt. Over to Tomic. Tied at 88. Barry the ball in the road black to forecourt. It is Sheffield, the little guard at 5'7". Gets it over to Mortensen. You can't leave him open. Flips it across the lane. Stolen away by Dennis. Ahead. Over to Colstad, underneath, it's laid up by Matthews. He missed the shot, but he drew the foul. And Colstad alertly getting it over to Matthews, who gathered it in, reached up, and he was fouled. And the act of shooting, and the foul is on Mortensen. 
And on Mortensen, that is his fourth foul. And he'll stay in the game. And the free throw is in and out by Matthews. Matthews tonight has taken 19 shots. He's made seven. He's looking for point number 20 on a second free throw. Is sitting down is the little guard, Sheffield. And it will be Walsh and Moya in the backcourt. Next free throw is good. And the Sharks have a one-point lead with 2.58 remaining in the game. Straight down the middle to the head of the key. It's Moya behind the Mortensen screen. Hop steps to the sideline. Gives it inside where it's caught by Walsh. He stripped to the ball and fouled by the Sharks. And this foul is on Puisis. And on Eddie Puisis, it is his third foul of the game. Zinich played just 12 minutes in his debut as the free throw is up and in and out. By Walsh, he fouled out, Zinich did. Gibson fouled out already in 27 minutes, but Gibson provided a hot hand. He's got 19 on that bench. To do no more help helping tonight. Next free throw is up and good by Walsh, who's muttering to himself after uh, he made just one of two, but it is even at 89. 2.46 to go. Remember that last year, the Sharks were throttled on both occasions in their battle with the Barry Bucks. On the right wing, it's Pat Huffine. Huffine over to Colstead, who's played steadily for NSU. Back of the foul line over to David Dennis, facing up on Walsh. He drives in and scoops it up and in. And it was Walsh who stood there like the house by the side of the road and watched Dennis zip right by. 91-89. On the left wing it is, and playing with four fouls, it's Burks. On the right wing, it's Moy ahead of the foul circle over to Mortensen, who's dangerous from three-point range. On the left wing, Moya launching a three. Hits the side of the rim, and it bounds. Heading out of bounds, batted back, but it's off Barry. As you see that tremendous shot, a lunging, sprawling shot by Dennis and a great move around Walsh. Matthews with 20. David Dennis with 29, leading everyone in the house. 91-89. Three ball up in the air. Colstead on the heel of the rim and off. Over to Walsh, who stepped on the end line. A medal error. By the Englishman, Evan Walsh. Six Barry Bucks in double figures in scoring. 16 apiece from Mortensen and Moya. Three ball up. Puisis got it. Eddie Puisis. Eddie Puisis is having a fabulous ball game. A breakthrough game for Eddie Puisis. And the pass underneath is stolen away by Colstead. Sharks with a five-point lead in the ball. 1.22 to go. Dennis calmly over the midcourt line on the left side line over to the senior. Huffine gets rid of it. Middle of the floor over to David Dennis. Both coaches standing as you'd expect. On the right side line, it's Dennis. Screen set by Matthews. He's hounded by a double team. Throws it into the corner for the Colstead three. Oh! Colstead, Mikel Colstead, the 6'4 junior. And the Sharks lead it by a timeout. A 13 point lead. The Barry Bucks were up by eight. Now the NSU Sharks bounce back. They lead it 97 89, 51 seconds to go. But the way they can shoot threes, look out. Mortensen with a three. Hits the back rim. The rebound saved. By Walsh over to Moya, back over to Walsh. Walsh into the lane. Walsh puts up a runner. He missed it. The rebound tip by Burt, but clutched by Dennis with 33 seconds to go. And the Sharks will win this one. Up line on the left side, line doubled up. Bounces it into the left corner. And they've got NSU shooting 39% and the Barry Bucks 52%. All right, ball inbounded with 25 seconds to go. It's a formality now. Puisis gets it into the left corner. 
over to Kolstad, who's played very well off the bench. And the foul stops the clock with 21.7 seconds to go. And it already makes you think about the next matchup between these two teams. It will be at Barry, at the Dungeon, on Wednesday night, the 30th of January. At the stripe, it is Colstad for NSU. Two of four from the field. Six points in 15 minutes and three rebounds. Missed the first free throw. He gets one more. But how about David Dennis? Game high, 29 points in 39 minutes. He has not taken a breather. Last year, he led the league in minutes played. Three throws up and good. And now the Sharks lead at 98-89 with 20 seconds to go until winning this one. Down the lane, driving through and missing is Moya. Rebound missed by Hobbs. Gets it back again and sticks it in with 11 seconds to go. And Barry takes timeout. It's now 98-91. It is hopeless at this point with 10 seconds to go down by here under the bright fluorescent lighting in the sparkling facility on the NSU campus. It's in batted over to Dennis, <laughs> trying to commit a foul. And on the second swipe by Wolves, it stops the clock with nine and a half seconds to go. It would take a wild Hollywood script. Dennis will go to the stripe. Now remember that Barry is in the double penalty, so one way or another, Dennis will get two free throws. He's looking for point number 30 here. He pops and good it is with a left hand. And David Dennis with 30 points in the ball game. Now Allende sits down. Bird sits down. The Barry. Nine and a half seconds to go. The next one up by the South Poets in and out and off. And the rebound taken by Walsh. Races over midcourt. He gets it baseline over to Hobbs who's fouled. Not a good foul. <laughs> you can see Coach Crutchfield stir, shake his head, and take a seat. Not happy with that foul. At the stripe, it is Hobbs who is fouled on his way down the baseline. He gets the first, he gets one more. 4.6 seconds to go, 99-92. And Hobbs looking for his 16th point on the back rim, and it nestles in. 99-93, 4.6 seconds to go. And uh, a full timeout taken here after three easy wins against non-conference competition in the season opener in the conference. Well, they come up with a win. And uh, Dennis did not see. And uh, the Sharks... Unless they flounder up at Embry-Riddle and the Eagles did win tonight, unless they do so Saturday, they should move up in the rankings. And now it's inbounded over to Kolstad and he's fouled in backcourt. So the Sharks will have a chance here to hit the century mark. The century mark for the NSU Sharks now. They won their first game with a 192. They won their second game, 133-106. And a technical foul on the Barry bench. And Butch Estes is not happy as he continues to bellow an impromptu sermon on the Barry bench on the far side as Colstead hits the free throw in the Sharks. For the third time in their four games this year, have hit the century bar. So that's two technicals for Colstead. Now, the rest of the players will be summoned to take their positions along the sides of the lane because, of course, on a technical, the shots are taken with no one along the sides of the lane, along the lane on the sides. In the NBA... The regular fouls come before the technicals. There are actually one technical in the NBA. It's two in the college game. But in the college game, it's reversed. The technical precedes the regular foul. And one more on the regular foul shot for Colstead. 
And he has hit four in a row at the strike. 3.4 seconds to go. The Sharks by 10. Long three by Moya. Hits the rim, bounds away, and that is that. And a terrific, spirited, inspiring, stimulating win.